In Unity, you can do anything. So what's the real-time engine? It is a piece of software, but it's so much more than that. Unity is an environment built to build video games, but these other industries are getting on board. Whether that's film or games, construction or automotive, this creative medium is available to everyone. Using Unity from the back seats, we can test how rain will look and the wipers' performance. We built all the tools of cinematography into virtual reality. In the construction field, we use Unity for everything and then some. I can have a small team, but deliver on AAA quality. This is the future of animation. Architecture. Yeah, automotive industry. Game development. Creators are the pace setters, the dreamers, those with an imagination. And we are here to support them because we think the world's a fundamentally better place with more creators in it. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. My name is Clive Downey. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Unity. Over the past couple of years, we've embarked on a journey to better understand the needs and challenges of a very specific group of creators, marketing professionals like you and me. But more specifically, those in charge of marketing physical products like cars, furniture, luxury goods, and other items that connect with consumers on an emotional level. I'm really excited to share what we've been working on. It's anchored in our belief that the world is a better place with more creators in it. And we anticipate this is going to quickly become an indispensable part of every marketer's tool set. We know that you are under tremendous pressure to create personalized and memorable experiences at a global scale. That's not an easy task, and it's made more difficult by a number of very distinct challenges. Generating marketing content from 3D engineering models is a complex process. Time-consuming methods of content creation, including photography and offline rendering, are still relied on heavily, making interactivity and personalization extremely difficult to achieve. And change is constant, since products and variants available for sale are always in flux, so it's burdensome to update and maintain that content. And on top of this, COVID-19 has forced a shift in marketing in ways we are all now very familiar with. Consequently, we're relying more and more on digital. The future of marketing requires a new playbook. Real-time 3D will power this next generation of marketing. As you saw in the opening video, Real-time 3D is a compelling creative medium with interactivity right at the core. At Unity, we've set out to streamline the real-time creative process and put those powerful capabilities at your fingertips. We see a future where marketers themselves are empowered to harness cutting-edge technology, create at the speed of thought, and showcase products in any variant in true to life ways. We're making that future a reality today with a worldwide release of a new Unity product called Unity Former. Now Unity Former empowers marketing professionals to harness the power of real-time 3D without needing to learn Unity deeply or how to code. Let's take a look. Change requires time. That's a reality. But what if change happens in real time? That's our reality. Now you can own time. Shape. Snap. Let there be light. Unity Forma. Your key to truly personalized, truly stunning digital marketing experiences. Let buyers dream and create their own reality. On the web, in your app, in AR, VR, Effortlessly showcase every product, every variant. Bring your vision to life with product configurators, interactive digital media, and much more. Unity Forma turns months into hours. Yes, ideas into experiences, shoppers into buyers, dreams into reality. Because why not? Unity Forma for creating new realities.
Wow, that was so cool. It never ceases to amaze me what's possible with Unity product. From product configurators to digital media, we can't wait to see how you showcase your product with Unity Former. I'm now honored to be joined by some really special guests, the brilliant marketing minds behind the world's largest car company. You'll see how Volkswagen is shaping the future of product visualization for marketing with our software at Unity, driving efficiencies in their creative process and scaling their ability to generate the content they need to turn drivers into customers. Volkswagen is one of the early pioneers to use Unity in its industry. They drive competitive advantage by using real-time 3D across their business. From R&D to training workers in virtual worlds to marketing their vehicles in cutting edge ways. It's more than just interactive experiences where Volkswagen gets value from Unity and real-time 3D. When it comes to marketing, Volkswagen has pushed the limits of what's possible, offering real-time experiences that help the company connect with drivers and stand out in a highly competitive industry. As industry leaders, Volkswagen has leveraged Unity to power its massive need for visual content across its global websites, helping power millions of images in real time as buyers configure their dream vehicles online. And now, with the addition of Unity Former, Volkswagen will be even better positioned to create exceptional marketing experiences at scale that deeply resonate with their customers. I sat down with Candido Pitalini, head of global digital marketing for Volkswagen's passenger cars, to talk a bit more about this transformation and how this shift is impacting the way they work and their customers' experiences. Candido, thank you so much for being with us today. Um, we'd really like to start with you just telling us a bit about yourself and your team at Volkswagen. Yes. So first of all, thank you for the invitation. I'm really happy to be here uh, in business. Uh, I started my career in uh, consumer electronic uh, in, uh, in Europe uh, with a German company, then moved to Philips, Dutch company. Then uh, after a while, I thought I wanted to do something new and automotive was definitely attractive. And I started with Fiat, then it was Fiat Chrysler together, and now it's Volkswagen since five years. How, how have the, end, the, the, the events of 2020 you know, further impacted the way you launch and market your vehicles? I know that you did something uh, as an example at, uh, because the Geneva Auto Show was canceled. Um, you know, can you talk a bit about that and how that kind of tactic might be something of the future? Sure. I, I mean, what uh, we are experiencing uh, has changed us and will change us forever. Even when we go, go back to the, to the normal, it will, it will be a new normal where many of the elements that we've learned during the, uh, this period will remain. So basically, we recreated exactly the, um, the stage of the Geneva Motor Show with all the cars that we were supposed to present there. And we replaced uh, you know, a physical uh, event with um, a digital one, a virtual one, and it was a great experience. You know, Unity is, is very capable in that way. We provide customers with agency and the ability to feel the product and interact with uh, anything made in Unity. So, you know, Volkswagen and Unity have been long-standing partners. Um, can you tell the audience when that started and how that came about? Sure. I think it was 2015 and we started to, to talk together because it was uh, the hype of uh, uh, virtual reality with, uh, with big uh, Googles. And, uh, and we wanted to do something there, do innovation. So we brought in these, uh, all these new elements, partly to, uh, you know, to be more efficient, but I think we would like now to be more effective because in some way, you know, your technology can make sometimes uh, uh, the product even better than real sometimes, more emotional. Mm -hmm. And that's something I was discussing with my team this morning. I said, look, I, I, I love all these new things, but how can we really make the experience of the customer as such that he's there and even beyond there because he's interacting, he's getting all the information he can get 
uh, only with this experience uh, and not in the real uh, in the real experience. And there, I think it's a, it's it's a great discovery journey we're making together. And I'm looking forward to 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 more uh, exciting uh, uh, product and uh, implementations. That's great. It's great to hear that uh, that Unity and Volkswagen are able to provide your customers with that kind of experience. Do you do you think that um, you know Unity using Unity helps Volkswagen actually get to the end result of selling more cars because of those new types of interactions? Let's put this way. Uh, today we already know a ninety five percent of uh, people purchasing a car starting their their uh, process online. So we believe that a more emotional presentation of the product can help the upselling. So that maybe someone, you know, uh, looking for a segment, uh, a lower segment is attracted by an higher segment or someone uh, who was looking for a basic uh, equipped car is upgrading with more uh, functionalities because it could experience maybe a nice video tutorials explaining the new uh, driving assistance systems, for example, that sometimes are complicated, but when you see a nice video tutorial, you say, oh, wow, I love it. I like it. I want to have a car that is driving by itself. It's keeping distance. It's braking by itself. And then uh, we see that there is a good upselling uh, uh, opportunity there. Yeah, that's great. That's good to hear. Thank you. Um, we've, we had lots of fun um, working with you and your team on the campaign video. Uh, for the new car um, using Unity Former, uh, a new product of ours, which uh, we're going to see lots more of uh, today. Um, when you think about Unity Former, what, what could your team do with that product that you couldn't do before in your marketing uh, creative production? Well, first of all, uh, I mean, you're delivering a lot of uh, very off-the-shelf solution that can be easily implemented. So in that, same, in that sense, uh, we are much faster in the, in the, in the implementation. But uh, with a highly automated 3D data import and processing, as well as providing tools that give us convincing results fast, our team will be able to, to dedicate way more time into the design of mm -hmm. satisfying product experience that emphasize uh, unique selling points, like for example, idealite concept or a driving assistant feature. So, Candido, what, what, one more. Let's talk about the future a bit. If you, you know, what, one of the things we're very proud of at Unity is the fact that um, you can design once using the core Unity engine, and Unity can compile that into you know over twenty different platforms so that you can reach the broadest type of customers uh, wherever they are. Now, with Unity Former being built on top of that core Unity engine with its values. Um, where do you think about in terms of uh, more places to be able to reach customers in the future with your new digital marketing activities and how Unity can potentially unlock that because of its ability to, to reach so many platforms? Well, you don't have to forget that we still have uh, quite an important uh, touch point, which is the, the dealer. At the dealer, you know, many users are already going there with their uh, product in mind, they already know what they want, but it's there where you can also expand the experience and visualize the product on larger screen, on interactive screen, on tools which are uh, helping the salesman to conduct uh, a conversation with the, with, the, with the customer. And we are also, uh, let's say, um, investing in new, uh, in new uh, distribution uh, concepts uh, like uh, pop-up stores in shopping malls uh, or uh, boutique uh, shops in uh, city centers where you don't buy the car, but maybe you experience the brand and, and the product uh, in a very immersive way. So there are many new opportunities and we want to always present it in a consistent way wherever you are, mobile, desktop, uh, television, uh, a dealer, or uh, in a shopping mall. Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Well, listen, thanks very much for talking to us. Uh, really appreciate you and the partnership. It's a pleasure. And uh, it's a speak to you soon. It's a pleasure. Bye-bye. 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 Thanks again to Candido for sharing his thoughts with us. So what does this transformative new style of customer experience look like? Well, the ID4 is no ordinary automobile. 
It's Volkswagen's first fully electric SUV, and the hype surrounding this car has been truly monumental. We were delighted to work with Katana Studio and Volkswagen's ID4 campaign team to produce a video to support their efforts to market what's gonna be a very historic vehicle. It's Volkswagen's first marketing piece created with the help of Unity Former. Volkswagen. With Unity Former working at the center of the marketing production cycle, Volkswagen can now tell product stories that allow their customers to interact with and get closer to the car. It's now my pleasure to introduce two key members of Volkswagen's global marketing powerhouse team. Rick Poli, product owner of real-time CGI solutions, and Sebastian Matez, real-time CGI solutions architect. Thank you very much, Clive, and thanks for the opportunity. We're really excited to be here. I'm Rick from Volkswagen Digital Marketing. And I'm Sebastian from Volkswagen Brand IT. So we're here with the latest member of our ID family, the all-new ID4. And coincidentally, the ID4 also marks a very important milestone for us at Volkswagen Digital Marketing. Why? Because the ID4 is the first vehicle in our global configurators that is fully rendered using Unity on cloud infrastructure. Yeah, and, and not just that, but also without backup from our from our legacy tool chains. And that is that is, I think, a great achievement because um, our uh, configurator is a very busy and uh, worldwide sort of the um, a solution. And each day across all the models, um, we basically deliver like up to and uh, sometimes above 25 million images, um, uh, fully configurable. That's uh, a images. day. That's for a single day. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Well, so um, we're still crazy. in the process of uh, still in the process of moving all mm. models over to the new uh, Unity-based solution. But yeah, the, the, the ID4 model is the one which um, is no backup. So Unity now gave us the opportunity to check out Unity Forma. So what were your first impressions? Yeah, actually, um, I think uh, it's it's quite quite promising, and. Um, it, it really uh, spoke to something it, uh, I observed uh, in our, in our uh, collaboration over the past years, is that a, a certain dynamic that uh, marketing use cases always um, need to be fast because marketing, of course, is about time and place. Uh, but at the same time, we also needed a lot of time to get the, uh, the whole baseline and uh, platform and all the groundwork done to, uh, to, to power and to, to drive these use cases. And so it's, it was quite hard to strike the balance at times, but with Forma now, um, that burden is, is taken from us and I think it can greatly accelerate um, the, the way we deploy uh, new versions and get more and new features and, and better quality uh, out of our um, experiences. Speaking for myself, I was really amazed when I saw the first results coming out of Forma. I mean, just the visual quality out of the box with the HD render pipeline and uh, yeah, we saw the video before, and I think it's it's great. It's make it's going to be a massive game changer for us because now with quality being available, that basically gives us the opportunity and, and basically the time in our production process to focus more on cr actually creating the experience, spending time with the lighting, spending time with the cameras, and um, yeah, get a better experience as a result. We've got our molds, we put them into Forma, and we can start creating compelling experiences. Forma also will give us the opportunity to create um, a lot of 
digital content from, for, from our products for various channels so we can get very compelling still images, we can get videos, we can get interactive experiences um, and who knows what lies ahead. I mean, we, we haven't touched the whole AR, mobile AR uh, region yet, but we're, we're looking into that as well for the future. So, and I just think Formo is giving us like, that's a new baseline where we can start off. Uh, it kind of it kind of speaks to how, uh, how uh, real-time rendering and, and Unity has, has transformed our, mm. the, the industry uh, compared to what we did. We've been, uh, we did like five or six years before this. That's, that's a night and day difference. And um, we, have, uh, we now have the best of both, wo both worlds, uh, a great rendering quality, uh, great interaction and uh, operation opportunities. Mm. And well, from marketing perspective as well, needless to say, um, if you've got such a tool that gives you the opportunity to cut down your production times and basically get the results fast in a very uh, convincing quality that also has an impact on, on budget. So we can produce all this massive content very cost efficiently in the future. You know, with Unity being a, a real-time engine that we can um, perform our media production process much faster than we did before um, and uh, particularly um, uh, particularly we can change many things about it and rapidly iterate on, on both media production but also um, on variants so what we can do is we can provide a much greater um, visualization variance of our uh, of our cast than we did before um, we can also um, do this much faster and uh, then the models that have been produced for one use case, we can bring it into another use case. So uh, we produce all models. We have to produce all models for our, um, for our static image production because they have to be visible in the configurator. But then we can also take the same model and put it into our streaming experience and it's already being staged, it's already being lit and all we have to do is add a, a bit of, fun uh, of functionality on top to make the user be, be able to discover it in, in an act interactive streaming way and, and like open the, uh, open the doors, uh, play with it and, and that's, that's a very, um, very little step from one to the other and so that's how we get, get a lot of uh, efficiency out of this, this production process. We were basically able to cut down our media production times by 75%, so from 12 weeks to three weeks only. And it wouldn't have been possible with a traditional offline render uh, pipeline. So from the turnover of the 3D data to the actual publishing on a cloud infrastructure, that's three weeks in total from uh, the lighting, the camera setup, the QA and the bug fixing for the product correctness and so if you can cut down the actual uh, times that you need on a scale of like uh, 20 to 30 to 40 models parallel because we are a high volume brand, that's a massive deal. So yeah, it wouldn't have been possible uh, to achieve this without using Unity uh, in our real-time rendering platform. That's all from us for the moment. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching and back to you, Clive. Thank you for that, Rick and Sebastian. Here's what I heard. Solving tough data preparation problems frees up more time to dedicate toward creativity and engaging product experiences. A Unity-based pipeline for digital marketing production is fast, flexible, and cost-efficient. And choosing between visual quality and product correctedness is no longer a choice Volkswagen has to make. They can have both, thanks to Unity. So, now that you've seen some examples of Unity Former being used to tap into the power of real-time 3D, let's dive into how it actually works. We've invited Oliver Schnabel from our product team to walk you through an overview of Unity Former. Oliver, take it away. Thanks, Clive. We saw how Volkswagen is using Unity. They are rendering millions of images for their website configurator every day, instantly, in Unity, from the cloud. That's really impressive. And now, 
I will show you Unity Former. I want to inspire you how it can help you to present your products in a powerful way. I will load the ID4 model now to walk you through some parts of the tool. Thanks to VW's very good data and material standards, it was very easy for us to develop a custom adapter to import their vehicles. They can now bring the entire fleet into Unity Forma without additional work. Manufacturing products consists of many different options. These can be simple color changes, swapping out materials or very complex combinations. Behind all the different options in this ID4 are thousands of variants and endless combinations. All materials are automatically imported and assigned on the correct part in the correct state. I created some cameras earlier to present the product. We can preview the experience in the center of the screen. The lighting setup that you see here is the standard Unity Forma white room. I can explore the model from the different angles and Creating more interactive cameras with Forma is a very easy task, thanks to our custom UI on top of Unity that is focused entirely on product visualization. Let's see the ID4 in some different color options. This is the color we saw earlier in the video. I can freely move around the car in real time. Nothing needs to be pre-rendered. Let's have a look at the interior. Again, all materials that you see here are physical scans by VW that were directly imported and automatically assigned in Forma. We see that the screen in the center is currently switched off. Forma allows you not only to import variants from other sources, but comes with a simple UI to create additional variants. Let's stop the experience for a second. I searched already for the correct screen content, and now let me find the head unit to add these. I can now toggle between the screen content, and I will define the main menu as my default option. To make the interactive options presented to the user more appealing, I will also generate little thumbnails for each variant. Forma does this automatically. All I need to do is to define the camera angle. Now let's switch back to our experience. We now see that the main menu is shown on the display and I can switch here dynamically to the different states with the thumbnails that Forma generated for this variant. This ID4 showcases that we can import complex models with many options, materials and rules directly, but that you could also start from the beginning and create all variants in Unity Forma, or just some, as you saw in the head unit example. I could deploy such an interactive experience directly to our cloud streaming service Furious. Forma is also focused on distributing the main model to many different channels. One I want to present you next is classical static media output. For this, we have a feature currently in development, but that we already ship with Unity Forma as an experimental preview. I can put my 3D products into different places for different markets, for example using existing photographs. But these are not just static outputs. Here I can manipulate the shots, like adjusting the product position, changing the exterior color, I can also render out detail shots. Maybe I first want to adjust the perspective a little and then render it again. I can recall all the shots that were taken with the correct camera perspective, correct configuration, environment and lighting with one click. And with that, I give it back to you, Clive. Thanks, Oliver. As you can see, Unity Forma puts amazing capabilities into your hands. If you or your team are interested in a deeper tech dive, make sure to attend our next developer day to see a live demo and get your questions answered. A massive thank you to the entire team at Volkswagen 
for joining us today. I hope that Unity Former triggers your imagination and shows you how you and your team can work more efficiently to create emotionally rich experiences for your customers. It's available today and is open for a free trial. Just go to unity.com slash former and get creating. Finally, a big thank you to you for staying with me to the end. Or is it the beginning?